Hello everyone, this is Oshini Dash Gupta from Chinda.com. Today I have a very exciting geometry problem. It can be solved using very simple tools, but you have to recognize what tools to use. This problem is from ISI BSTAT BMath Entrance 2015. If you are not aware of ISI entrances, it's similar to Mathematical Olympiads. Check the link in the description for more details. So this particular problem, it says that there are three circles. These are unit circles. Unit circles means of radius one. And each circle is tangent to two other circles. So each circle is tangent to two other circles. And you draw a triangle such that each triangle is tangent to two circles at a time. So this is exactly what the picture is. It's obviously given that the radius of each of these circles is 1. Our job is to find out the length of the side of the triangle. So to do this problem, we have to learn quite a few things. There are actually two things that we will be using directly. The first one is called Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. And the second one is similarity of triangles. So if we know these two tools, then we will be able to solve this problem. And there are a few other things that you will have to rigorously prove while you are actually writing down the proof of this problem. I will give those to you as a challenge question. You can answer in the comment section. Okay. Uh, remember that if you are answering challenge questions, then Chinta has direct access to our courses like ISI CMI entrance programs, math Olympiad programs. If you are regularly commenting, then we will cho we can choose you and we can give you access to one such program. And of course, there are other rewards. So uh, make sure you comment and let us know what you think about the challenge problems. In this particular case, we have three circles. So what I will do is the first step, the step one is really a construction. What you do is you start from this corner, this particular vertex, and you start dropping a perpendicular. So I will I will drop, I'll, I'll mark this as O, O1, let's say, the center of the first circle, join the point A with O1. Now I will mark the first tangency point, this particular one as T1. So I'll join O1 and T1. And finally, I will extend it to meet the opposite side. The side is BC. I meet the opposite side at the point M. Okay. So the claim is that M, so M is the midpoint, midpoint. So notice what I just did. I marked the tangency point, I marked the center, I marked the midpoint, and then I joined A01, I joined O1 T1, and I joined T1 M, all of these three things. It's very important that you are able to show that all three pieces lie on the same straight line. Many students who will be doing this problem will miss this point. It's a crucial point. You have to give reasons why these three points will lie on the same straight line. So here is the challenge one. So the challenge question. Show that A, O1, T1, M are on same straight line. Straight line. How can you rigorously give a reason why these are on the same straight line. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now let me draw another triangle. So this is O2 suppose and this is O3. So I'll give you an example how to show this uh, straight line arguments. I will show that O2, T1, O3 are on the same straight line. O2, T1, O3. Let me join O2 and T1 and T1 and O3. I want to show 
that this is on the same straight line. Why is that? Well, if you draw the tangent, this is the radius. So, the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. Right? This is a standard theorem in geometry that if you draw a tangent to a point and if you draw the radius, then they are nine, they form 90 degrees. So, this angle is 90 degree. This angle is similarly 90 degree. Total angle is 180 degree. So, O2, T1, O3 is a straight line. Okay? In fact, that sort of tells you why O1, T1 and M will be a straight line. You have to think a little bit more, but it's almost there. Okay? So, this is a straight line. Similarly, I can draw these two points of tangencies. Let's call this one as T2 and this one as T3. So, I'll join this. I will join this. Okay? So, we have the triangle whose endpoints are the centers of the three circles. So, this little triangle. Right? Okay. So, what is the length of O1, O2? The length of O1, O2. So, this is 1 and this is 1. This is a unit circle. So, this is 1 and th so this total thing is 2. And this much is 1. Right? Because this is a radius, which is 1. We know it's a unit circle. And these are two red eyes joined together. So, it's 2. So, what is the length of O1, T1? Well, O1, T1, you can now use Pythagoras theorem in this triangle. O1, T1 is square root of the hypotenuse square, which is 2 square, minus the base square, which is 1 square, which is square root of 4 minus 1, which is square root of 3. So, this length, O1, T1, is square root of 3. Okay? Alright? So, now, the question is, how much is the length of AM? So, AM, this much. Okay. So, what we will do is, we will assume, so, let's, let's join this. This is 1. So, we will assume that this is x. Okay? So, if this is x, if this little portion, I'll draw it in pink. If it is x and this is 1, then the hypotenuse here is square root of 1 plus x square. Again, we are using Pythagoras theorem. And again, this part right here in the below, this is 1. This is 1. Why? Because this is a rectangle. And you can show that this is like the altitude. So, that is the second challenge problem. So, this is challenge problem 2. So, this is challenge 2. Show that T1M is 1. T1M is 1. How do you show that? Okay. So, now we have the entire altitude. This one. This little height. So, this is the length of AM. The length of AM is 1 plus x square plus 1 plus square root of 3. Right? 1 plus x square plus square root of 3 plus 1. That's the length of the entire AM. And what is this length? What is the length of this particular thing, MC? Well, this is 1 and this is x. Now, we have two similar triangles and we will be using that, the, that the sides are proportional. So, we have this little triangle similar to this big triangle. Okay? So, let me write that. Write that. Triangle O1, T1, O2. Triangle O1, T1, O2 is similar to triangle AMC. 
So we can we know that corresponding sides will be in the same ratio because they are similar. Okay, so if that happens, then we can say that O1 by T1 divided by T1 O2. So this divided by this, which is square root of 3 by 1, is equal to AM a m by m c so a m by m c by m c the m c is as we just found out x plus one okay so all right so we have root three by one equals to this ratio we have to just find out x so let's try that so last part is just computation you can do it yourself as well. Divided by x plus 1. If I square uh, cross multiply, I will get square root of 3x plus square root of 3 is equal to square root of 1 plus x squared plus square root of 3 plus 1. So I just cancel these two off. Bring the 1 to the side. So I have square root of 3x minus 1 equal to root over 1 plus x squared. Now, if you square both sides, what you get is 3x squared plus 1 minus 2 root 3x equal to 1 plus x squared. So, you can just cancel this 1 and 1, bring the x squared to the left hand side. So, you have 2x squared minus 2 root 3x equal to 0. So, that's the last step. We are almost done. So we have to find out x because if we are able to find out x, then we will just add x to 2 because this is 2, right? This is 1 and 1. So this is 2. So this side is 2 plus x. So x plus 2 plus x. That's the side of the triangle. So you can from here, you can just find out the value of x. You can just take 2x common. And one more step, you get the value of x, okay? So, the final challenge, challenge 3. What is the final answer? Put that in the comment section. Final answer. And uh, tell me the side of the triangle, okay? So, if you're interested in ISI CMI entrances, mathematical olympiads like IOQM and so on, uh, please look at the comment section and the... Uh, uh, link in the description. You will find more resources there. And uh, if you are an internal student of Chinta, make sure to attend the problem solving classes five days a week. Most success from Chinta happens from the problem solving classes. Even this year, we had like 11 students in ISI CMI entrances into the 2023 in the top 100 in entire India and four in INMO, Indian National Ma Math Olympiad, in, in top 70 in India. And all of that magic happened from the students who attended the problem-solving classes. So make sure to attend those, okay? All right. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.